Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is G. Cole, and welcome to Homegrown, where I get to share with you some good music while talking to some great people. Hello world, hope you're feeling as good as I am. I want to big up all my homegrown listeners out there and welcome all the new listeners. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do so, so we can keep you updated when new material is available. We will be posting new episodes bi-weekly. This is episode 11. Yeah, man, and that is Freddie McGregor, and so I will wait for you. Listen, big, big tune, <laughs> big, 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 big tune. Welcome once more, homegrown listeners, um, to what I call introspective. We've gone through our first 10 episodes, and I've decided to do this uh, introspection, if you will, after every 10 episodes. It was challenging to say the least, but but very exciting creating those episodes. And of course, you know, there are, there are people out there that without their help, Along the way, we'd still be planning. You know, we'd still be in this planning stage. So I want to thank um, I want to thank my wife Krista for always being supportive. Uh, this takes time, and yet you never yet complain. I get the eyes sometimes, but no complaints. You know, always making sure my guests coming through are comfortable and making sure that I'm good. So thank you so much. I want to thank Stephen Hart from the Trailblazers podcast for being a mentor throughout the process. You've been so supportive and encouraging and extremely generous with your information. It's very much appreciated. And by the way, guys, make sure you check out the Trailblazers podcast. There's just a wealth of information there that you could definitely benefit from. I um, want to thank Vinnie Hamilton from Vinnie Hamilton Productions for the intro music. I reached out to Vinnie um, for an original piece, and we started working from scratch. And um, now we actually have completed a composition, a.k.a. a rhythm from our reggae folks. Um, it will be released soon. So thanks again, Vinnie, for that. Uh, Joey, my daughter, I want to thank you so much for allowing me to sometimes take what's supposed to be our time to do some work. And also for being an ear to me. She's so talented. Um, it's, it's amazing. She's 17, but her writing is way beyond her years, way beyond her years. And she'll be doing some writing for me and with me um, on some projects coming up, um, literary and music. So Joey, thank you so much. For all my guests, Candice Forrest, uh, Richard Daly, Marcus Moon, Alwyn Grant and Chris Gale, Esther Selecta, Sharon Flood, Cynthia Payne, um, and Christine Alicia for stopping by. 
you know what I mean, and being a part of the program. You guys are great, have been phenomenal, and I look forward to having you on the program again. It's a whole lot more to come. Keep it moving, keep it grooving. It is homegrown. Yeah, man, and that one is committed. Third world. You know, um, we spoke earlier, earlier in, in one of the earlier episodes to um Mr. Richard Daly, BC from Third World. <laughs> awesome, awesome gentleman. Um, you know, just going into some 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 third world stuff. You're gonna love that one. Um, if you haven't tuned into that yet, definitely do so. Uh Third World, I was first introduced to when I was a little kid, you know, in Ochurius. Um at the hotel with my mom, they came through and performed. And I've seen them around and so forth ever since then. And it's just an awesome, awesome group of, of musicians. Remember, uh, one of my neighbors down the street was in one of the videos. The video for this song actually committed. And I was just so blown away. And I mean, she was a superstar in my eyes. You're in Third World's video committed. You know, blasting all over JBC TV at the time. So Third World, you know, uh, rest in peace, Rich, um, rest in peace, Money Rugs. Uh, Richie, you guys keep doing you doing. Cat, you know, I mean, Maurice, you know, everybody out there doing what you're doing. Eruption, all you guys doing a phenomenal job. And um, of course, AJ Brown holding on the front line. Just keep on doing what you're doing. Um, originally, when I started the podcast, you know, my, my goal was set up equipment, book my guests, record, and post. Uh, turns out the only part of that that was on schedule was setting up equipment. And believe me, when you're when you're not just a radio show that simply records the shows and then posts it as a as a podcast, getting ten episodes recorded is serious work. Um, in the process of creating the podcast, we had a lot of things happen. Hurricane Irma came through and created a whole lot of damage. Um, you, you know, but, but I have to be I got to be grateful. Here in South Florida, a lot of people experienced a lot of damage. You know, me, I, I, I lost power for a couple of days. Some minor damages around the house, very minor. Um, so far, you know, as far as I'm aware, <laughs> I'm sure when the adjuster comes out and takes a look, we might have something else to talk about. But thus far, from I can see, very minor. So for that, I'm extremely, extremely grateful, especially um, s- since, you know, how bad it was projected to be. I definitely send my prayers and my blessings um, to all those affected from, from Key West to Puerto Rico to St. Martin. I know St. Martin got hit bad. Um, Miami, St. Thomas, Grand Turk, and of course, the island of Barbuda. Um, I don't want to forget those in Texas who shortly prior to that had been so severely affected by Hurricane Harvey and um, are still in the recovery process. Listen, um, we got knocked down, but we didn't get knocked out. You know, so we will rise again. Keep your head up, keep on praying, and keep on growing. It's amazing the things that we take for granted. You know, power, simple as it sounds, power. Uh, Internet, Wi-Fi, 
fresh water and stuff like that. You know, so while this is definitely devastating or has been devastating, I, I do hope it's a learning experience for us all not to take life or to take those around us for granted. Way more to come. Keep it moving. Keep it grooving. It's homegrown. That's a soulful voice of a man called Maxi Priest, you know what I mean? Jamaica's favorite son too, you know? London's own, but Jamaica's favorite son. Uh, seen Maxi Priest a couple of times live also, I'm telling you, phenomenal, phenomenal. You're talking about vocals that sound as crisp and clean as it is on the CD, you know? Maxi Priest, big up yourself. When I started bounces, bouncing ideas for the Homegrown podcast, um, the concept was what was most important was to narrow down what we're doing. You know, it's, it's, it's the, the, the concept itself was what was most important to narrow down. Um, is it finance? Is it music? Is it sports? Whatever. Ultimately, I decided it was life. Um, from a marketing standpoint, I've been told that the branding should be one-dimensional, focus on one thing, and focus on it all day. Well, because it's not a business, I don't have to do that. And personally, I've never had a day out of my life that revolved around only one thing. Um, you see, the thing about target marketing is that it can be a calculated decision to alienate some people. And I don't want to do that. Stats do show that realistically, we all know somebody who's been abused in some way, shape or form. Somebody who has had some kind of mental issue or who has some kind of mental issue. People who have financial issues, dealing with grief. Um, sometimes you don't and you won't know because they may not be able to come to you about it. For some reason or another. And, 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 and hey, some of the times that person's us. You know, so, so whatever and wherever there's information that I can find, I'll definitely share. I'll keep the platform open um, to different things. As a matter of fact, I, I have one coming up. <laughs> I'm going to bring in some, some experts with me. Um, you know, just, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go on a nutrition, um, exercise, fitness thing. I'm going to bring sexy back for me, you know. Um, <laughs> I'm going to bring some experts in on the show and challenge myself, and I'm going to see who wants to come along for the challenge with me. Um, we're a diverse platform, so you know who says that the person that watches CNN doesn't watch ESPN? Who says that the person that watches NBC doesn't watch VH1? 
you know, so just keep tuning in. And, um, and, and I promise there's going to be something that will help you or help you to help someone or just help you to realize that you need help. So far, I've gotten a, a lot of comments from, from, from people um, that the platform has helped in some way or has inspired in some way. And I'm glad. I'm glad I stuck to my guns. I, I'm going to keep navigating the waters of real life together with you guys. Um, you know, I'm a normal guy and I know normal people. So to sit down and talk about extraordinary things, extraordinary accomplishments and so forth might not be my avenue of expertise. Um, so to the extraordinary ones, I wish you luck, you know, um, and, and wish you my best. But I, I'm a normal guy and the people I know are normal, too. And we're going to navigate this world in a normal way together, you know, so keep it moving, keep it grooving. It's homegrown. Yeah, man, that is Jimmy Cliff with Reggae Night. Feel like I'm back home, Jamaica, JBC TV. You know, sounds like the JBC playlist. Um, when I was when I was a young kid, it's it's when it comes to music, I'm nostalgic. You know what I mean? I'll sit back and listen to the songs of of old, the songs that have made a mark and an imprint on my life. Um, there are songs that you know I have a soundtrack to life, and there are certain songs that when I hear it, it takes me right there, right to that point where I was. Be it a class party, a fit, um, at the house by myself, walking home from school, getting into some trouble, about to get in some trouble, um, just got into some trouble and got over it, whatever the case may be, um, it's always something um, and there's music attached to it and uh, special people too in your life, you know, music attached to. So, um, but I kid, kid you not, when I was putting the playlist together and so forth, it was just, you know, that's how I felt. I felt like 80s JBC TV vibes, you know? I love it, love it, love it. Listen, I, I, I get a lot of emails on the Facebook page and the calls coming into pro, to the program too. Um, but I get a lot of emails on the Facebook page, which is uh, facebook.com forward slash mygcole and on Twitter at mygcole. Um, if, if, if you're not following on any of those platforms, please do. Um, please put the hashtag at homegrown with gcole. 
um, if you want me to mention your comments on the on the podcast or on my Saturday morning radio show, Homegrown with G. Cole. So you're talking about facebook.com forward slash my G. Cole or Twitter at my G. Cole. All right, again, please follow there. Um, again, subscribe to the podcast, um, the Homegrown Podcast with G. Cole. Please subscribe to that. And I, I get you know, I get emails coming in a lot. And like I said, if you want your comments to be mentioned on the show, um, so I know it's something that you're, you're cool with us putting on the platform, put the hashtag Homegrown with G. Cole if you're on any one of the social media platforms. But um, I get a lot of emails asking about the music. You know, when am I going to be releasing some, mu- some new music and so forth? I have a new single that will be released in a couple of months, um, you know, and, and I'm working on some projects for some other artists, some writing, some production stuff for some other artists. I'll, I'll keep you updated as things progress. Also, if you don't have the last album, please go to iTunes, go to Amazon, Google Play, wherever you consume music, Pandora, Spotify, wherever, and look up Ocherius by G. Cole and the Raps and Kush Band. Um, I'll do an episode chronicling that album. Um, I get requests to do so on the radio show, but I think I want to do it here on a podcast. We've also just celebrated um, the 10-year anniversary of my first album, This Music Volume 1, Return to Vintage. And we're going to be re-releasing that on vinyl to commemorate that. Um, there are some books uh, that should be coming out early next year, um, starting with a book of poetry early next year. Um, so please stay tuned. Um, there's so much more to come, and I'm, I'm very, 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 very excited to share with you. So um, just, just, just stay plugged in, and I'll keep you posted on everything that's going on, all right? Um, keep it moving, keep it grooving. It's homegrown. All you mean, brothers and sisters, good day now. All you do, know, you're doing fine. Why you miss this mix up and blame for a man like Dolly Giant, as I would say. Yeah. Real keen from a record machine to the spot when all I see is making rock and come in as I would tell you. Why you miss on this, make a jump on twist, speak like this. Tell you about it. Sometimes it's hard, but try and you make it Believe you me In order to achieve, go forth and take it Set yourself free With obstacles in your way, you may fall before you rise but if you really want good, your nose off and run So get up and keep your eyes on the prize So as part of your plan, you feel your ambition And the almighty one has your foundation Hey, nobody get rich and switch because that's definitely wrong Me beg you know, don't forget your friends and where you come from If you are thief, thief, remember God now sleep And although you rob a man and you get well last week You fall off out the street but you're beaten going steep Because God is a silent river and you know it run deep Throughout history, lots of great men and women Went about things the old fashioned way They just kept on winning and winning So strive Step up in life and go for what you know You've got to strive Yeah, man, and that one is Shine Ed with Strive from the album Real Rock. Listen, I remember seeing Shine Ed back in the day. I went to Reggae Sum Fest. What's that, like 92? Something like that. One of the greatest reggae experiences, as a matter of fact, the greatest concert experiences of my life. Um, you know who I went with? My mom. <laughs> Me, my mom, and two of her friends. Um, they were, the whole experience, man, it's just, you know, reggae in the ear. I'm talking about... Who was hot? They were all, all on the show. Um, Shine Ed, of course. Uh, Diana King, Shy Guy. Um, Ainika Mosey, Hot Stepper. And, you know, the usual suspects, the Beanie Them and so for Beanie Man and Ray, you know. Um, but that was a phenomenal experience. I'm talking about, this is at Catherine's Park in Montego Bay, Jamaica. i um, talking about... Reggae bed. If, if I'm a Jamaica people, you know, you know, the concert goes on till, till morning. So the sun is up. 
is coming up when when artists are still on stage performing and you know some people tired and sleep all some part of the show with with with, with the music pumping at however many watts however many decibels you're still out there you know, you've exhausted your sleep, you wake up more music. You know what I mean? People selling reggae bed. What's a reggae bed? A piece of cardboard. All right? So, um, you know, con man, soup man, jerk man, you know, the area, you know what I mean? Just doing what they do. Uh, the, the experience is, and was, I should say, phenomenal. Haven't been to some fest in a couple of years. In fact, I don't even know. Yeah, some fest still goes on. I think it's Sunsplash that did, you know, but we'll do the research. But anyways... Some fest with my mom was a, a, a wonderful, wonderful experience. And to see an artist like Shine Ed, Shine Ed at the time was the one that I was so amazed by because he's whistling a whole song. I'm talking about on key, a whole song, you know, whistling. No harmonicas, no nothing. We're talking about whistling, you know. But anyways, want to, wanna, again, big up everybody out there that's supporting the movement. You know, um, Courtney, Darcel, Krista, Joey, you know, Chris, Sasha, Alwyn. J. Will, Jayut, the list goes on. I could keep going and going and going and going and going. And I mean, Raps and Kush, you know, um, Mrs. Mullings, you know, all those instrumental people in my life, been there from day one. You know, a lot of the directions that I took and the things that I did was to make sure that I didn't let certain people down. My mom, you know, uh, my grandma, I big up my brother Bones. Whether or not you know it, you had a tremendous impact and an influence on who I was to become, you know, I had to cut that off at some point in time. <laughs> you know what I mean But uh, that's, that's, that's my boy That's my virgin um, Anyways I, I just want to once again Thank all the listeners The supporters The friends of the program And, and I commit to continuing To bring you more great content um, Please share the link With your friends Ask them to subscribe If you haven't already subscribed Please do um, You know And And, and, and you know, on a, on a daily basis, we'll continue We'll continue to work You know, we see things each day We go through different experiences Um Whatever is impactful, whatever leaves a mark, we'll try to chronicle it in a, in, in a short period of time and, 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 and share it with you, you know. And again, share it with anyone who you think can benefit from this program. Music is my life. Um, I consume more music than I probably do water. So I, I, I'll always share the music with you. And of course, occasionally I'll talk to some of my and hopefully some of your favorite musicians, mostly we're talking about the legends, you know what I mean? We're going to feature some of the music from some of our legends who, who are here with us, living legends, um, as well as some of those who've departed. Um, in fact, I, I, I ran into one of the queens of reggae um, close to my house. You know, I was able to speak to her briefly, but I really want to sit down and, you know, bring her into homegrown studios and talk with her, um, you know, get some more information on her. So, you know, just thank you so much for everything. Um, you know, keep tuning in, keep on, you know, sharing with your friends and keep on, you know, hanging out with us, you know. So before I get out of here, let me share some of her stuff with you. Here she is. Keep it moving. Keep it grooving. It's homegrown. It's electric.
Yeah, man, and that is the legendary Smarcia Griffiths Electric Boogie. It's that time again. Anyways, uh, there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. It has indeed been a pleasure. Remember, be kind, be safe, and be good to each other. My name is G. Cole, and this is Homegrown. Kikinika Sa Musica, Homegrown with G. Cole. Estás escuchando Homegrown con G. Cole. 您现在正在收听的是 Homegrown with G. Cole. You're listening to Homegrown with G. Cole. Remember, all the music played here on the Homegrown podcast is available on iTunes and all your digital retailers. Please support the artists.